friends, this is Miss B. I am ready to read another book for you today. I'm super excited to share one of my favorite holidays, which is El Día de los Muertos. Today's book is related to El Día de los Muertos, and the title is Just a Minute, A Trickster Tale and Counting Book by the author Yugi Morales. I hope you enjoy it. And let's get started. When Grandma Beetle woke at dawn, she heard a knock at the door. And oh my, waiting outside, she found Señor Calavera. Señor Calavera tipped his hat. What a skinny gentleman! With a pass of his hand, he signaled to Grandma Beetle. It was time for her to come along with him. I wonder what that means. Do you know what it means? Just a minute, Señor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just one house to sweep. Señor Calavera remembered he had extra time today, so he decided to wait. Uno, one swept house, counted Señor Calavera, and he rose from his seat. Just a minute, Señor Calavera. Grandma Beetle said, I will go with you right away. I have just two pots of tea to boil. Señor Calavera sighed. <sighs> Waiting a little longer wouldn't hurt anybody, after all. Dos, two steaming pots of tea, counted Señor Calavera and he headed for the door. Just a minute, Señor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just three pounds of corn to make into tortillas. Señor Calavera rolled his eyes. He had to be very patient sometimes. Tres, three stacks of tortillas, counted Señor Calavera, and he put on his hat. I wonder why Grandma Beetle keeps telling him just a minute and she keeps doing so many things around the house. Why do you think she's doing that? Just a minute, Señor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just four fruits to slice. Señor Calavera frowned. This was taking more time than he had expected. Cuatro, four fruits made into salad, counted Señor Calavera. And he motioned that they should go. Grandma Beetle looks a little funny right now. She's winking one eye. Let's see what happens next. Just a minute, Señor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just five cheeses to melt. Señor Calavera tapped his fingers. This was getting out of hand. Cinco. Five melted cheeses, counted Señor Calavera. And he hurried to help Grandma Beetle with her sweater. Señor Calavera is in a hurry to go. And Grandma Beetle has so much to do. Grandmas usually have a lot to do, don't they? Does your grandma do a lot of things around the house? 
Just a minute, Señor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just six pots of food to cook. Señor Calavera threw up his hands. What else could he do? Seis. Six pots of delicious food, counted Señor Calavera. And he offered Grandma Beetle his arm. And here's Señor Calavera now helping her cook. How very kind of him. I wonder what she's making. And I'm sure her kitchen smells delicious by now. Can you smell what she's making? Just a minute, Señor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just seven piñatas to fill with candy. Señor Calavera shook his head. In disbelief, it was getting late. Siete, seven piñatas full of candy, counted Señor Calavera, and he held open the door for Grandma Beetle. So now we're at seven. Siete. Just a minute, Señor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just eight platters of food to arrange on the table. Enough, Señor Calavera could take no more. Ocho, eight platters of food sat on the table, but Señor Calavera had lost count. He was too busy stomping on the floor. He does not look happy. Oh, look, Señor Calavera. Grandma Beetle exclaimed, here come my grandchildren. Señor Calavera took a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nueve, nine beautiful grandchildren came through the door. Can you count all nine grandchildren? The children sat at the table, everyone at his place. Now, Grandma Beetle said, all my guests are here and together they make 10. But the guests sitting at the table counted only nine. Grandma, the children protested. Where's guest number 10? Here he is, she answered. Yes, number 10, of course, is Señor Calavera. It was time to celebrate Grandma Beetle's birthday. When the birthday cake was all aflame, Grandma Beetle blew out the candles with a gust like a hurricane. It was her birthday. I wonder how old she turned. That's a lot of candles on that cake, right? When the party was over, Grandma Beetle kissed her grandchildren one by one. Then she announced, I am ready, Señor Calavera. But oh my, where was Señor Calavera? Grandma Beetle found only a note. Hmm, I wonder what the note said. And I wonder where Señor Calavera went. Let's find out. Dear Grandma Beetle, your birthday party was a scream. I had fun like never before. I wouldn't miss your next birthday party for anything in the world. You can count on that. Sincerely yours, Señor Calavera. And here's Grandma Beetle winking her eye.
Do you know why Señor Calavera left? That is the end of the book. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I love this book. And I will see you next time for our next read aloud. Adios.